as dimension, multi-leader, hatch, and text objects. If I'm going to be using annotation properties and styles, I need to verify that the annotation icons on my status bar are toggled on. So that's the first item I'm going to check. I have three annotation icons on my status bar. The first one controls the display of the annotative cursor badge. This means if an object has been set to be annotative, a cursor badge will be displayed. The second icon automatically adds an annotative scale to your annotation objects if they have been set to use annotative properties. The third icon allows me to set the scale of my model space. I'm working in a floor plan that has all the object types used by annotative properties and styles. I have text, dimensions, a hatch, and a multi-leader. I'm going to start by looking at the multi-line text. I turn on Quick Properties and then select an mText object. The mText style is 2. I close the Quick Properties dialog. I go to the Text Style tool under the Annotation panel on the Home tab to locate that text style. I highlight 2 and enable Annotative. I set my paper text height to 3 16 inch. I click Apply and Close. Now I can add annotation scales to this text style. If I hover over the text, I should see the annotative cursor badge, but I don't. When I modify a style and make it annotative, it does not update the existing annotation objects in the drawing that are using that style. I need to set the existing text to be annotative. I select the text, right click, and choose Select Similar to select all the text objects in the drawing. On the Quick Properties dialog, I change Annotative to Yes. Note that the annotative scale is displayed as quarter inch equals one foot. And you may recall that my model space is set to use one quarter inch equals one foot. I close the Quick Properties dialog. I click Escape to release my selection. Now when I mouse over some text, I see an annotative cursor badge. You can apply more than one annotative scale to an object. If you see more than one cursor badge when you hover over an object, that means that it has more than one scale available to it. Right now, the text has only one annotative scale, quarter inch equals one foot. I hover over one of the dimensions. No annotative cursor badge, so that means the dimension is not annotative. I select the dimension, right click, and choose Select Similar to select all the dimension objects in the drawing. The Quick Properties dialog shows that the dimensions are not set to be annotative. I change that value to Yes. I close the Quick Properties dialog. I click Escape to release my selection. Now when I hover over a dimension, I see the annotative cursor badge. Just because I changed the dimensions to annotative does not mean I changed the dimension style. I select the Dimension Style tool from the Annotation panel on the Home tab. I highlight Arch underscore 96 and select Modify. I select the Fit tab. I enable Scale Dimensions to Layout. I enable Annotative and click OK. An Annotative Cursor Badge is displayed next to the Dimension Style name. I close the Dimension Style Manager. I turn off Quick Properties on the status bar. I hover over the Multi-Leader. It does not display the Annotative Cursor Badge, so it is not annotative. I select the Multi-Leader. I right-click and choose Select Similar. I right-click and select Properties. I set Annotative to Yes. The annotative scale is set to quarter inch equals one foot. I press Escape to release the selection. I hover over the hatch. The hatch displays the annotative cursor badge. Annotative objects really come into play when using layouts. I'll start with the floor plan layout. 
I switch to the viewport layout using the drop down list on the home tab on the ribbon. I select the layout tab. I select the rectangular viewport tool and place a viewport on the layout. I select the viewport. I right click and select properties. I set the view scale to quarter inch equals one foot and the annotation scale to quarter inch equals one foot. I click escape to release my selection. I switch to the kitchen layout. I select the layout tab. I select the rectangular viewport tool and place a viewport on the layout. I activate model space and use zoom window to position the kitchen area in the viewport. I click outside of the viewport to return to paper space. I select the viewport. I right click and select properties. I set the annotation scale to one inch equals one foot. I set the view scale to one inch equals one foot. Notice that the annotation objects adjust their size. I click escape to release my selection. I return to my model tab. I'm going to use my linear dimension tool to add two dimensions to the kitchen area. I place a horizontal dimension and a vertical dimension. I switch back to the kitchen layout. I don't see the dimensions. I return to the Model tab. If I hover over one of the dimensions, I only see one annotative cursor badge. I select the two new dimensions, right click and select Properties. I see the annotative scale for the dimension is set to quarter inch equals one foot. I click in the annotative scale field. I select the Add button. I scroll down and I select the one inch equals one foot scale. I click OK. I click OK to close the object scale list. I switch back to the kitchen layout. Now those two dimensions are visible, 